Hey, good morning. It's 5 a.m. and I'm off to a new adventure. Come with me. A frozen night, but everyone's moving out. We all need time, but there's no way to slow it down. Okay, so the plan is to get to the Tamina Canyon from Timishu de Jos or up the leather Timish or up yours Timish or something like that. And uh, from there we will climb to the Big Rock Peak and uh, come back down on Seven Stairs Canyon. Hopefully we will be able to do that today and catch the train back home. So the Tamina Canyon is kind of like the Seven Stairs Canyon that you already seen a video of that I made but this one is supposedly not so well maintained and uh, there are not actually good enough stairs so it's kind of dangerous. Other than that this is a place called um, the Bears Place or something like that and it's well known for being uh, heavy with the bear population so this is why we we kind of took precautions so we we have some sprays we have some some stuff hopefully we are not going to need it but you never know so far uh, we are hiking on a road to the woods it's not necessarily a path uh, but I think soon enough we will get on the path and that's going to be a bit more abrupt. The Tamina Canyon is at an altitude of 1100 meters. Hopefully it's going to be as spectacular as I am expecting to be. Once you reach the sign pointing you to the Tamina Canyon, you want to keep right if you intend to climb the canyon through the waterfall between the rocks or keep left if you want to go around it, which would be a shame. The place is not too huge, as long as you stay on either path you cannot get lost, so don't let the cross paths there intimidate you. You can already hear the water. Going down on a steep path right next to this huge rock here.
I think that was pretty much it. The hardest part is behind us. The hardest part of the canyon because we still have like, a, like two thirds of the path up to the peak. Uh, hopefully we will be able to do it. And hopefully the climb is not gonna be that steep. The canyon is beautiful as always any kind of waterfall in the woods. It's an absolute blessing. Love it. From a beginner's point of view, the trail up to the Tamina is kind of medium in difficulty, but it's totally worth it. Okay, so word to the wise people usually film the best parts of these trails, right? And there are a lot of great places, uh, but they don't usually film the hardest part. And because, of course, they are they are tired, they don't feel like it. They it's it's kind of hard to uh, put the camera on when you're barely walking. This is why a lot of trails are harder to uh, approach than in, in the videos that you see on YouTube. So make sure you, you are prepared for worse than, than you see, worse than expected. Here we go. Rain is close. We are kind of prepared, but we shall see how hard uh, the rain is gonna be if it catches us if not we will enjoy the weather
From the canyon up to where the forest ends, closer to the peak, other hikers either stopped or were running back scared of menacing rain. Chances to meet someone else on this particular path were thin and at a critical moment when we were worried about not having water anymore and knowing that next spring is far enough, a lone hiker happens to come by the shepherd's place and he knew a spring close by. Alexandru practically saved our trip. We got the much needed water and continued our hike to the top. We, um, we aim for that peak and there's not a lot left, but we are absolutely beat. We met Alexandru on the way and uh, that was a blessing. He showed us spring, we got water. The camera doesn't make it justice. The silence, the view, the weather is perfect. This is amazing. got to the top and it's inexplicable. You have to climb a mountain in your life to feel this. Every bit of sweat and every muscle cramp and everything, totally worth it when you get to the top. So work yourself off in everything you do to get to the top. Okay, we are off. We are going down to the big stone cabin. 
and then to the Seven Stairs Canyon, where we hope that we will catch the zip line opened because we want to uh, go down the zip line. They call this the written rock for some reason. I don't know. I'm, uh, I'm gonna look it up. The view is nice from here too, but the rain is coming and uh, we kind of have to hurry up. Probably this is uh, going to be a more technical part of our trail because we are about to climb down these rocks. And We are here. This is the big rock cabin. It's more like a shelter because people are coming here, of course, with a reservation. And uh, upstairs there are 14 or 18 beds or something like that. They have electricity to solar panel. And uh, downstairs there's a kind of a kitchen, like a couple of tables and stuff like that. Uh, this is just from what I've heard on other YouTubers. I have never been inside. I hear that there's a, a spring around here and that's what I want right now. I just want to, to get some water. Other than that, uh, we are getting uh, ready to, to actually climb down because it's, uh, it's kind of late and we are not sure we are going to be able to catch the train back at this point. We shall see what kind of solution we can find for that. Yep, this is it. It looks nice here. Kind of rainy in the sky up there. Uh, yeah, it looks great. Right, so I think we found the actual spring and we are heading towards it. I think it's somewhere down there in the woods and they have chosen to actually represent it, represent it here on this uh, little plaque with a sperm cell. So I guess uh, we should uh, drink carefully. So as anything else, the climb down proved to be a bit harder than we expected for now. No other choice. So we climb down through the rocky paths toward the Seven Stairs Canyon and right after that we left the canyon behind us and we started to walk down because the canyon and the zip line are closed right now. So um, we just have to walk down to the street there's still enough to to walk and uh, we have to find a solution because the train already left 
So overall this trip, I think it was a success. It was an endurance tour, so to say, because it took a lot of energy out of us and it was a long trail, but it was very diverse because we climbed through the forest, uh, stepping on the roots of the trees and we, uh, we were scared that we might meet bears and um, we, we found the, the top of the mountain and the forest ended and we started to, to climb through those hills and right after that we got to the peak. The view was uh, amazing and when we went down again, down the mountain, we went on a path that was very very rocky and we are we were very happy that we didn't climb on it it took a lot of energy and uh, we are soaked we are dirty but we are happy because it was amazing last impressions as always the harder the climb the better the view see you later <laughs>